And for those who enjoy this channel and would love to support us financially, please feel free to hit that donate link. We'd greatly appreciate it. God bless. Now, you talk a lot, uh, Erica, about mitochondria, which is wonderful, and about cells. Clear back at the Life Science Library, they talked about the uh, mitochondrial DNA and the, the cells being so complex. But this article came out in uh, uh, Trends in Ecology and Evolution magazine back 20 years ago. If molecular evolution is really neutral at these sites, occurs at a consistent rate, such high mutation rate would indicate that Eve, mitochondrial Eve, lived 6,500 years ago, a figure clearly incompatible with current theories on human origins. But you know, that's not incompatible with what the Bible teaches. The Bible dates add up to about 6,000 years for Adam and Eve. So why did they drop this talking about this mitochondrial DNA? Using our empirical rate to calibrate the mitochondrial DNA molecular clock would result in an average man of the mitochondrial DNA, the most recent ancestor, of only 6,500 years ago. Wow. In the magazine Natural Genetics. This is 20 years ago. They've known that you could trace all the people back with mitochondrial DNA to within 6,000 years. You don't need millions of years.